Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started standing. And then we'll come back to seated when we do our when we do our points. So I want you to sit on the saddle of your horse and let yourself just sink. We've arrived. Lovely. And slowly just transfer the weight from one foot to the other. And when you place the foot on weight on one foot, I want you to feel the thigh hugging the bone, giving you more strength and feel that foot connected to the earth. And then slowly go to the other side and feel the foot planted to the earth. Energy rises from the earth through the legs into the dantian and sinks to the other foot into the bubbling spring. So feel like a rainbow energy rising from the earth and you don't have to put your hands on the belly but I'm just showing you the direction of where your weight is going. So it comes up from the earth into the body and goes down the outside. So we're essentially pumping energy from the earth into the body. Now, as you do this, you're gonna feel more pressure or more energy from the earth, and it will sort of move your body more. And the more that the energy rises from the earth through the body, then your arms can then go for a ride. Not that I'm really moving my arms, or the impetus is not from the arms, but it's because of the bubbling spring of the earth is putting the energy into my body, into the hips, out the spine and out the fingertips. So I really feel the energy rising from the earth through my body and expressing itself from the fingertips. And as you're doing this, it's very relaxed. But we wanna really feel that mother earth is giving us the energy so that our arms can go from side to side. Nice. And then you can actually give yourself a pat on the back for tuning on Zoom, joining your classmates today. We all deserve a pat on the back. Then slowly let the motion subside. And as you stand, you may feel a little more energy pumping from the earth through the legs into the belly, out the spine, out the fingertips. Lovely. Sit on the saddle, gather a beautiful basket of flowers, shoulder blades kiss, palms are open. Keep the gaze forward as one hand comes forward, looking into that front palm, the back hand is giving you to the front palm. Keep the gaze forward. And now the other hand, the back hand is giving chi to the front hand. Then we're gonna release the basket, keep the gaze forward the whole time. So we drop the basket, but pick it up on the other side as we sing our song. Love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away. It comes right back to you. Standing grace, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Notice the chi flow in your body. You're looking good. Step back on one foot, all the way down the back foot. That knee is bent, the ankles relax. And the back hand will gather chi from the earth. The chi actually rises from the foot, through the hip, through the shoulder, out the fingertips. So we're gathering a beautiful rainbow. Gathering she and paint the rainbow in the sky. Keep the weight on the back foot. The weight does not come forward. It stays, all the weight stays on the back foot that is rotating. So you're gonna feel the, the, the hip rotate, the shoulder and the head follows. Nice. Then step up and feel the difference between the side that worked and didn't work. And we'll step back on the other foot, sink down. She rises from the earth, through the hip, through the shoulder, out the fingertip. Paint a beautiful rainbow. And as we come upright, see if you can feel a little more balance between both sides now. 
Soften the ankles and knee, the groin, thumb over middle finger like a kitten. Wipe the whiskers and groom from behind. So we round forward, looking at Mother Earth. Keep the knees bent as you open your heart to the heaven. Our feet are really rooted, giving you stability. Looking at the earth and opening to the heaven. Shoulders are relaxed, hands are soft, the soft fist, the empty fist. Relax breathing as you do this. And come upright, lovely. Feel your inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss. Feel the inner smile. You are all looking so good. We're going to lift the fingers and toes, twinkle toes, activating all the channels of energy that go through the body that begin and end in the fingers and toes. So as you're twinkling, we are opening up all the channels. And we're pumping chi from the earth and we're visualizing that above somebody's up there twinkling upon you. My father's twinkling upon me as I get to feel his energy sparkle through my own body. Stop for a moment and see if you feel a little more chi in the body. Lovely. Now allow the energy to rise from the roots through the trunk of the tree to the top of the tree. And on the breath out, your tree blossoms and then saw it sink back towards the earth. We'll allow energy to rise up within and expand around you as you sink back down. So much flow of energy from the earth through your body and expanding around you. Lovely. Then we're going to reverse. Arms go out and up, relax the shoulders and visualize beyond the ceiling, beyond the blue sky, beyond the sun, the moon and the stars as infinite energy is pure light. Visualize pure healing light, golden liquid light, slowly infusing every cell of your body, dissolving tension, dissolving blockage, dissolving dis-ease and diseases out of your body. And as we do it again, as we collect this healing energy from the universe, visualize it pouring into all of your loved ones, all of our classmates and all of your loved ones receiving pure healing light. Taking as many breaths as you need to infuse the chi into your own body. And we'll do it one more time, and this time as we connect to the infinite source. Visualize healing light pouring into all beings on this planet. Everything that breathes receives the healing light. Bring us back into grace with the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Nice, looking so good. We're going to bring the feet together, keep the feet rooted, middle finger at the kidneys. As our feet are rooted, the upper body moves like a tree blowing in the breeze. Be gentle, supporting that lower back, activating the core muscles to help you. Then we're going to massage up and down along the spine and back and forth along the waist. And we're gonna go the other direction. Smooth circles. Lovely. Come to the heart, one palm over that. We're gonna smile into your heart. Smiling has a profound effect on the function of our organs. So smile deeply within. Then we're gonna open your feet, shoulder hip width distance, hands on the hips. When you come on the ball of the foot, you're gonna feel where the hip goes in the socket at one tial and the other side. So our fingers are at that hip socket at one tial. It's a gold ladder channel point. And then you're gonna cup your on palms over one tial, soften the knees and the ankles and the hips. And as we circle to your right, allow when the hips are forward, weight on the toes. Hips back, weight on the heels. Hips to the side, weight on the side foot. Allow every joint in your body to become fluid. 
total fluidity in every cell of your body. Especially loosening up the shoulders, neck, and jaw. Relax, breathing. Then drop your tail on the side where you need it the most. Use those healing palms, the bubbling springs of your hands. And then palms face the earth. And we're going to rock forward on the ball of the foot as you slightly lift the heels. We're going to rock back on the heels as you slightly lift the toes. Massaging all the acupressure points in the feet, 200,000 nerve endings in each foot. We're massaging them as you go forward and back. Palms forward, facing the earth, and palms back. And then find the middle so you're equally balanced front and back. Nice. Then slightly go to the outside and the inside. As you're rolling the hands and the feet, we're gently stretching the ligaments, getting more flexibility in the joints, not overdoing it. Then find the middle so you're totally balanced in and out, forward and back. Our feet rooted to the earth, the depth of your height, your hands on the hips, soften the knees. And now as we circle, we do not move the weight on the feet. They stay rooted. The body goes the other direction, but the weight stays in the center, which allows the bubbling spring energy to rise from the earth into your body. It's a heart pump. It brings more chi to your heart. Then drop the tail and massage where you need it the most. And standing, grace, inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel the inner smile. Notice your breathing. Loverly. We're going to bring our feet together and put the middle finger in the navel. So we're going to activate the core muscles as you go in and up, activating the core. Breathe in the belly. Bend the knees with a flat back. Come forward. Hands on the knees without any weight on the knees as we gently circle to the right. But now as you circle, you're going to feel the weight go from the heels and the toes and the inside and the outside. That is fun. We're just opening up that area. But no weight in the knees because you're activating the core. And then you're going to massage the knees and go the other direction. So the spine is long, no weight in the knees. We're just bending forward and activating the core. And the massage. Then you're going to lift the heels, come on the ball of the foot a little bit, and then circle to the right. We're massaging the ball of the foot, our yung chin, the first point on the kidney meridian. Then your lap on palms and one tiao, go down the outside of the legs, going down the gallbladder channel. Hands on the knees, activate the core, go to the left side. Then open your feet hip width distance, draw good shape the inside, the inside of the body. Soften the knees and come up vertebra by vertebra. As the feet are rooted, the tail is rooted, and very slowly we come up, hug, kiss, smile. And again, feel the feet totally balanced, in, out, forward, and back. Very nice. We're going to allow Chi to rise from the earth. Slowly up to the lower dantian, smiling into the lower dantian. Then bring chi to the heart center, middle dantian. To the upper dantian, the spiritual center, keep the shoulders relaxed. To the crown at Bai Hui. Then we're going to interlace fingers, giving more blood chi to the brain. Then rotate the palms up, get a nice stretch up. Arms are up, but shoulders are down. See if you can lower your shoulders, even though the elbows are up. Good. Then you're going to bend the knees and bring the hips forward as you look up without any pressure in the lower back. The knees are over the second toe. The hips are rocking the body forward and back. And eyes look towards the interlaced fingers with your relaxed breathing. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the side, four times to one side. 
The feet stay rooted and the eyes stretch towards those interlaced fingers to the side as you breathe out. Come center, we go the other side. And come center, and we're going to unzip the zipper. We're going to release any stagnant energy as you go down the front and just whisk out any tension in the body, releasing it. Then come upright, hug his smile, feel the balanced weight. And now we're going to imagine bending the palms face the earth, the eyes face the earth. And with your mind's eye, we draw chi up and bring it to the outside of your right heel, press down. Then we'll draw chi up from the earth, bring it over to the left side and push it down. Slide in the middle and we are upright. Now we're going to do the bend by bending from the groin, knees over second toe with a flat back. You face the earth in the center, the hands and eyes will draw chi up, the outside of the right heel, press down. Draw chi up, the outside of the left heel, push down. Slide in the middle, relax the head, and come up vertebrae by vertebrae, feet rooted, tail rooted. Coming up slowly, building your spine. Nice, now we're gonna roll down. Head goes down, shoulders go down, belly's lifted as the body goes towards the earth. Really hang, relax. Then your palms are going to draw chi up the outside of the right heel. Draw chi up the outside of the left heel. Slide in the middle, bend the knees, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, vertebrae. Slowly building your spine. Very nice. Now we're going to fold from the quad, lifting the core. We come forward all day, only about 15 degrees, flat back, long spine. The hands will draw chi up outside the right heel. The hands like a magnet, draw chi up the outside of the left heel. Slide in the middle and come upright. Now we can go beyond the barely bend. Take any bend that works for you. Activate the core and go. Everybody's bending however you'd like, as far as you would like. The hands will draw chi up outside of the right heel, push down. Draw chi up outside of the left heel, push down. Slide in the middle, and then we're going to circle down and out, reducing any stagnant energy out of the body. Holding on to the elbow, circling down and out. Your loud on palms, kind of one tail slapping down the outside of the legs towards the ankle. And then we're going to brush it down, following the gallbladder channel. And then with knees bent, come up vertebrae by vertebrae, feet rooted, tail rooted, core lifted, tail lowered. Hug, kiss, smile. Then just notice how you feel. Nice. Sit back on the saddle of your horse and put all the way down to the left foot. Keep it really rooted, the left thigh hugging the bone. Right heel has no weight. I lift from the core with a flat back and go over the left thigh. And I feel the right calf muscle hamstring stretch. Then I go over my right straight leg and I relax the spine as I warm that leg up. Keeping all the way down the back, left leg. Hands over the right knee, elongate the spine. Nose over my second toe with a long spine. Index finger sink to the earth. Thumb index middle finger sink to the earth. Ten finger sink. And then I visualize touching my toe. If you're able to do so, if not, imagine it. And then give love cats from one chest, slapping down, relaxing the spine. Right hand goes down the outside, left hand up the inside, the inside. And bring the feet back parallel, come up vertebrae by vertebrae, feet rooted, tail rooted, core lifted, build your spine. 
And you're going to feel lopsided. One side's more stretched than the other. Sit back in the saddle, all the way down the right foot, left heel, no weight. Folding over the right leg, activating the core, the left calf muscle stretching. Then go over the left leg, relax the spine as you warm it up. Hands over the left knee, elongate the spine, nose over second toe, index finger sink to the earth as roots. Thumb index middle finger, 10 fingers send roots as you look between the first and second toe. If you can easily touch the toe, do so. If not, visualize the chin sinking to the toe. Breathe into it and give love pats. One to the other. Left hand will go down the outside, right hand will come up the inside, moving along the channels of energy through the body. And then come back parallel feet, rooted tail, rooted core, lifting. Hug, kiss, smile when you get up there. Lovely. Oh, looking so good today. Middle finger at the kidneys, soften both knees, shoulder blades, kiss. All the way down the left foot as you draw the right toe in, look at a point in the distance. If you need to hold on to something for balance, do so please as you lift your right leg up. And come down, step onto the right foot, drag the left toe in, focus on that light or something, a point that you can focus on. And come down. And don't worry if you can't lift the foot very high. That's not important. Even if it's down low, feel the inner thighs hug. Then we go across the body, up, down, and step out. Then draw the other foot in. We're going to go across the body. Up, out, step out. And then we're going to boot out of your system any negativity. Really let the shoulder blades kiss so you're very upright as you release any negativity out of the body. Just boot it out. Starting low. Then we'll go higher. Then you'll point the toe, get the yin meridians. And we'll go higher. And standing grace, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel that inner smile. Lovely. We're going to sink down as we gather chi from the earth, let it rise up from the bubbling spring into the lower dantian, smiling. Up to the heart center, smiling. And open to this beautiful little flock. We are seven geese today. Soften the knees, soften the shoulders. The third finger connects. We are now eight geese in our flock. And the third finger connects energetically and feel the chi flow from your heart connecting to your classmates. as we fill our circle with unconditional love and healing light. Imagine someone you're caring for that needs more healing. Place them in the middle. Then gather chi back to yourself. Embrace that wonderful healing energy. Just give yourself a great big hug. We all deserve it. And then open your heart again, all 10 fingers, soften the elbows, knees, and now all 10 fingers connect. So if we are eight people with 10 channels out the fingers and toes, we're creating a web of energy all around us. We're filling our circle with so much healing energy as we feel pure gratitude for all the blessings in our life. We send healing blessings to all those that need on this planet. And gather you back to yourself. Give yourself that great big hug. Then you're going to clap from behind and give yourself that wonderful pat on the shoulders. And standing grace, hug his smile and see if there's more chi flow in your body. You're gonna take your right arm, you're gonna wrap it around your neck. 
Left elbow takes right elbow to the left side. Head turns to the right, right hand tries to touch right ear. Left hand faces left ear. Lower the tail, lift the core, look over the right shoulder, spiral for the full moon. Really feel that spiral in your body. Breathe into it. And then we're going to push back any stagnant energy out of your system. And then the left arm is going to wrap around your neck. Right elbow hooks it to the right side, head to the left as left and tries to catch left ear, right hand faces right ear. Lower the tail, lift the core, look over the left shoulder, spiraling to the full moon. Breathe into it. And then push back. Nice. And standing grace, hug his smile and see if there's more chi flow in your body. Now you're going to lunge forward on the left foot. The hips are facing that left leg. Uh, left hand up the left groin, right elbow bent. And we're going to circle that right shoulder slowly, forward up, back down. Really feel that shoulder blade really sliding on your back of your spine, on the muscles of the back. So there's big movements. Shoulders go forward, up, back, and down. And lengthen the arm down, keeping the shoulder down. We continue to circle. Chest still facing that left leg. Breathe into it. And then reverse. Bend the elbow, let the shoulder come up to the ear, forward, down, and back. So we're really moving that whole shoulder scapula area, really moving it a lot, opening up any tension. Then lengthen the arm down, shoulder stays down as we continue to circle. Modifying as you need to. Okay, now both toes face each other and then you're gonna pivot on the right heel and now the hips face that right leg, right knee's bent. We're gonna bend that left elbow and shoulder circles. Feel that wonderful massage in between the shoulder blades as you're doing this. A release of tension. Then lengthen the arm down, shoulder stays down as you continue to circle. Breathing into it. And then we're going to reverse. Elbows bent, shoulder up to the ear, up, down. Just really circle that whole shoulder blade. Then lengthen the arm down and continue slicing. Now both arms are gonna flip flop to the right and the left to the kidneys and the shoulder without moving the chest. The arms go around the body. Give yourself that pat on the back and pat on the shoulder. Release, the right toe turns in, pivot on the left foot, pivot out. And now we go to the other side over the shoulder and to the kidneys. And step back and notice how you feel. Hopefully there's more chi in your body. I certainly feel a lot more energy, especially seeing all of you here today. Okay, we are going to start our point. So if you would like to sit for that, you are welcome. I'm gonna take a little drink here while I'm at it. Okay, so let's start with the Laogon point, the center of the palm. We say Laogon as you gently press in and breathe out as you release the gentle pressure. Laogon on the heart protector, good for anxiety, palpitations of the heart. Just when you feel a little bit of fear, just breathe in gentle pressure and breathe out, relax. Breathing through the nose, filling the lungs, filling the lower belly, the Dantian. Each breath out, we become more relaxed. And the other side, center of the palm, but I'm also pressing the outer point at the same time. So I'm pressing, breathe in. 
Breathe out, a good way just to relax the mind and regulate breathing and heart rate. Does everybody feel just a little more relaxed? Raise your hand. It just by what we did right now for one minute, if that relaxed you, you feel the inner peace. So it's such an easy thing to do whenever we get upset to do for yourselves. Now, the fleshy point between the thumb and index finger is hegu, say hegu. And we gently press, breathe in. Release pressure, breathe out. Hegu on the large intestine, meridian. It's good for headaches, toothaches, constipation, dehydration. Nice, and the other Hegu. Again, do it slow and relaxed. Okay, now three finger scouts on or over the wrist line or below the wrist line, one, two, three, where the third finger is put the thumb, neguan, say neguan. Then they have a point behind, which is wagwan, but our neguan, again on the heart protectors, we gently press, breathe in. Breathe out, release. This is good for anxiety, but also motion sickness. Pressure, breathe in and release pressure on the breath out. Gentle pressure. On the other side, so after we find the middle, the lower inner point, then we go to the outer point, which is Wagwan, say Wagwan. Wagwan on the triple energizer meridian. And it's a gentle regulator for the body, like a thermostat. Keep that slow, relaxed, full breathing with the pressure in and out. Okay, now with the arm bent, I'm gonna follow the thumb to the crease of the elbow till I find my cheese. Say cheese. It's a tendon that it's a little bit nervy and it's good for breathing problems. It's good for tendonitis. Again, it's a gentle pressure, breathe in. And release on the breath out. Then we go beyond the tendon in front of the elbow bone. We press that point that is on the large intestine meridian and it's good for bringing more flora into our intestines, into our gut, aiding digestion. Okay, other side, we follow the thumb to the crease of the elbow to cheese in. Gentle pressure, breathe in. Relax on the breath out. They go beyond that tendon to the probiotic point. Lovely. Now take your index finger at the U of the collar. The thumb goes to the out of the collar, outside the collarbone, find the middle of each bone, which should be directly over the nipple. Index finger on top at Chwepin, say Chwepin. And the thumb goes below that at chihu, say chihu. These are good for cough, asthma, sore throat, and hiccups. Enjoy opening the chi door to your lungs. If you want, you can try going opposite. Your spine may undulate as you do that. And then relax, notice the breathing. 
Is it fuller, bringing more oxygen into your body? Lovely. Now you're going to raise your right arm, your left hand under the right armpit, and the thumb under the armpit is called G chin. So you're like your the center of the armpit, you're at your G chin. Now your right thumb goes below your left baby finger to dab out. And now lift the left arm up. The right arm goes under the armpit at your G chin, say G chin. And then that left hand comes below the right baby finger at dab out, say dab out. And then we give loving energy to your dab outs. And this is really good for strengthening the immune system, help absorb nutrients in the food you eat and absorb ideas. But the shoulder blades are really kissing. So you're really upright, elbows are pointing back. Good. And then we're gonna give good chi to the quad. And lower Dantian smiling. Now I want you to go really slow. So slow that if you had a magnet in your hand, it would move the chi below you. So we're moving energy in the Dantian. Change hands and direction. Smiling into the Dantian where all the vital organs are housed energetically. And come to the heart center, the same thing, moving the chi, opening up any blockages so we have clear flowing blood in and out, cleansing, purifying, enriching, nourishing. Another hand, go the other direction, smiling into your heart. Okay. Now, your right hegu opens. We're going to give chi to the right ear and the right neck, and we're going to fluff it nine times or seven, ten times to the left ear. And then fluff, fluff up the chi from the left ear to the right ear, that long goose neck, preventing double chins and helping with the lymphatic system. And then we'll go the other side, 10 fluffs, opening up your hegus, and we're gonna fluff from the left ear to the right ear. Don't drop the neck, uh, the neck back. You're looking up, we're not dropping the head back. You just feel the lift and 10 fluffs back. Okay. Third finger to the third eye, yin tang, say yin tang. Gently brush away tension and at Taiyang, rub it away, any tension. From Yin Tang to Taiyang, wash, brush away. One more time, Yin Tang to Taiyang. Then we come to Jing Ming, say Jing Ming, bright eye point. At the tear duct, and we go under the eyes, washing away tears, congestion from Jing Ming, under the eyes, wash away. Bright eye point, clearing your eyes. Then we come to the outer corner of the nose, Yin Chiang. Say Yin Chiang, welcome fragrance point. We massage outside the nostril. And then we go underneath the cheekbone, create a great big clown smile. And then two fingers above and below the lips. We're so, sort of like brushing your teeth on the outside. This is good for toothaches and gum diseases. 
And go the other side. Then you're going to pinch your lower jaw, pinch release, pinch release, pinch release all the way up towards the upper jaw. So you're really loosening up any tension, opening up lymph, good for the lymphatic system. And then put um, one finger at the ear and make faces like Halloween, loosen out the jaw. Make funny faces and sound. Then you're gonna massage your earlobes. We have acupressure points in your ears connected to the entire body. So massage everywhere, the flaps and the creases. Then we take two fingers, scouts on or the ear in the middle. We're gonna fluff, good, chi, up, fluffing. Then shake out as loose as a goose, any tension in your body, shake it all out, loosey goosey. Sit in grace for a moment, hug his smile and see if you feel more alive. When you release negative, you fill up with positive. So we're gonna take this positive energy in your palms and give yourself a chi massage for the face. Wash face, comb hair energetically seven times. If you have any negative energy, the first three or four times you can release it before continuing, but go slow enough. So your hands like a magnet are moving the chi. And after the seventh time, like a halo, like a waterfall, let's just go down the spine, trickling down all over your body. And rest the hands on the thighs, hug his smile. Just breathing. Your laogon palms over the knees at Liangshu. And take six slow breaths. The bubbling springs of the hands, giving it to the knees, the bubbling springs of the feet, receiving chi from the earth. Then with your laogon palms, really give good chi to the knees. Really give them a nice little chi massage. And find that right angle, thumb on top. The middle finger goes to the shin bones and go out one inch. So your middle finger at San Yin Jiao. No, excuse me, Zhu San Li. On the stomach meridian. And then we're going to take three finger scouts on her. It's sort of hard to see because I'm wearing all black. The three fingers above the ankle bone, thumb above that to Sanyin Jiao. Gentle pressure where kidney, liver, spleen come together. And while you're down here, get your yung chin at the ball of the foot in between the big and second toe. So we really feel that point. On top is the liver point, on below is the kidney point. Okay, go the other side. So 
three fingers over my ankle bone, scalp's honor, thumb above that to Sanyin Zhao. Kidneys in charge of bone health, spleen in charge of muscle health, liver in charge of the flow of blood. And then get your yong chen at the bottom of the foot and find above where the big toe and second toe. So you sort of have a sandwich between the liver point on the top and the kidney point below. Okay, and we're going to just remember when we look up at the uh, full moon, the chi of one hand goes down to the inner ankle, and then you turn the head and we scoop the chi. We'll do that to the other side. So from the full moon, we gather chi down to the inner ankle and scoop the chi. So we really only do it to one side, but I'm giving us a little balance here. Just get that going. Okay, so I want to go over um, the second part of the form and add the new movements. We haven't added new movements in a while. So from the full moon that we just did that, so we drag moon from water, right hand to the left. And the first time, let's see, I'm doing something wrong here. Yes, excuse me, I did it wrong. <laughs> so hand at the ear, I'm gonna bring the chi, third eye down to the inner ankle. I turn the head to the left, right hand at the third eye. And then as I turn around on the heel, I turn, it's, we're seated so it's not as easy. Left hand at the third eye, right hand at the temple, reach up to the full moon, the right hand comes to the left inner ankle, and then I catch the reflection under the armpit. Now we come to push down. So as I push down, let's see, push down, the hands are following the seam of the pants pushing down, and then the thumb touches the inside of the leg as you come up. So it's pushing down, the, we're on my left leg, and then they come up. Now I'm not pushing my back, I'm bending the knees, but right now we're seated, we can come forward with the long spine. After three times, I go to I turn 90 degrees, go over the right leg. Middle finger follows the seam of the pants going down, and thumb comes up. So I'll push down and up. After the third time, I push down. Then I come forward, I start swimming forward, up, out, and the hands go behind me. And I'll be perching, I'll be looking at water, hands are behind me. So the palms face each other and they're giving chi to the lower back. Then the hands are gonna come forward as I shake, weight on the right foot, the left foot steps out and I'm gonna give chi to the lower dantian with both hands and I'm gonna to fly to the left side. So now my right middle finger is giving chi to ji chen, the heart protector, elbows bent, palm is open, thumb is down. And then I give chi to the lower dantian and I go to the other side. So elbow is bent, shoulder is down, palm is facing back with the thumb is down and giving chi to the lower dante, um, to the ji chen. And then again, I'm just fluttering to the lower dantian, fly to the other side. Now see if you can lower your shoulder. We don't wanna lift the shoulder. We want the shoulder to be down, but the elbow is bent up. And I know it's a very weird place to be. So that is um, flying over water. The next movement we're gonna do is called drinking water. So the arms go forward, the left leg is forward. Left leg is forward. And now I'm fluttering, but I'm gonna drink water 
as my elbows come in, my create like a beak around the mouth and then elbows stay up in the, now your hegu gives good chi to your dao bao, to one tiao, to both knees, left leg and fly up. So it's mouth, dao bao, one tiao, outside of both knees, left leg and fly up. Mouth, dab out, one tiao, both knees, left leg, fly up. Well, let's do that one more time. Mouth, dab out, one tiao, both knees, left leg. And now we're going to fly up. It's called look at sky. Open, open, open. And my arms are now going to come to a place on the belly that I'm not going to tell you about it today because I've told you enough new information, but the hands on the belly. But what we're going to do is we're going to push it and massage your gut three times. Next week, I'll tell you the specifics of where the hands are. But I want you to push and massage. And then we will close. So that was number 42, Restore Chi. Hmm. Now, before we do the standing, I want to do one more Chi massage with you because I want you to feel the Chi in the body. So let's feel the Laogan palms, loving energy between the palms. And I'm going to give myself a chi massage. I'm going to go up the outside of one arm, around the shoulder, around the breast, to the armpit, and the palm up as I move the chi out the fingertips. The other arm, the hand is going to come up the yang meridian, over the shoulder, around the breast, to the armpit. I'm up and I move the chi out the fingertips. Other side, she rises up the outside, over the shoulder, over the, under the armpit. I'm just moving the chi, my hands like a magnet, moving the energy up the outside, the shoulder, the breast. Do this a few more times, your own breath rhythm. Go slow enough so that your Laogan palms are really giving good healing chi to the areas it is facing. Last time. Then we'll gather the chi up to your hair chi height and give yourself that chi massage from the upper dantian. Over the face to the middle dantian. To the lower dantian. And rest the hands on the thighs, hug his smile. Notice your breathing, take three slow breaths, waltzing breaths. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. So this chi massage we did for ourselves is how we do the form from the very beginning. So when we stand in grace and we bring the chi down the outside of the legs, do this with me, just seated. Give chi from 
the hands over the outside, giving chi to the knees and giving chi to the outside of the legs. Then we slowly pick this chi ball up in front of you and bring it up to the head and let it expand as you lift the heels. And then we collect that healing chi into a great big ball and put it into the lower dantian, feeling happy and fulfilled, content. Relax the fingers as the chi will rise up to the heart. Look between the palms as you send that loving chi out. Fingers are up and out. And then we spread that chi around you as you come upright. Bring the chi into the kidneys. Lift the heels. Then we release stagnant energy out. And then we hold the chi back up to the heart and we gently send this loving chi fingers are up and out and forward. And then we'll spread the chi around you as you come upright. Bring it into the kidneys, lift the heels and release any stagnant energy out. Then we lift the chi back up to the heart and feel that chi massage as you watch face up to the third eye, up to the crown. And then we open the elbows and interlace fingers, bringing the chi into the brain. Rotating the palms and we send the chi upward to the heaven and eyes up. And then as we bend with the flat back, we're going to press the chi back into the earth. And the hands will receive the chi, come to the outside of the left foot, we'll press it down. We'll lift the chi up to the outside of the right foot. Press it down. Slide in the middle and spread the chi out to the side, creating a rainbow. We pivot on the ball, the right foot. Uh, we're on the right foot. We pivot on the ball, the left foot, right hand under left elbow as you give a chi massage from the elbow all the way past the fingertips. Left hand under right elbow coming back. We concentrate the chi into chwepin. Right hand gives chi to the left foot, right foot. All the way up. There's a light in the right hand. And we're gonna bring the chi to the left foot, but you can place it on the knee. And we flap your wings, opening up three times, pushing forward, foot, moving the chi internally. Put that left toe down as we push the chi with the right hand out to the side. Turn the palm over, scooping the chi, holding it up, create, bring the chi to the right weapon. Weight on left foot as you give chi to the foot, all the way up to tada, the light in the left hand, shining upon the right toe, but you can come to the knee. So you circle the right elbow back as we flap your forefoot three times. Pivot on the right heel. We push with the left hand out, one foot far. Come back center. As we scoop the chi up with the left hand, the right hand will go down, bringing the chi down like a magnet to the lower belly. Give chi to the heart three times. Once, receive it. Twice, receive it. Third time, receive it. Weight on the left foot, right hand, and foot go out, waist high. We're sending the chi all the way behind you. Look forward, palm up, right, hegu to shenshu. The left toe and foot come forward, waist high. Send the chi all the way behind you. Look forward, palm up, right, hegu to shenshu. Transfer the weight, right hand and right foot forward. Look all the way behind you. Look forward, palm up, right, hegu to shenshu. We go to the left hand and foot. We open to the side. We wrap. Right hand at the third eye, left hand at the tail. Then we turn the left palm forward. We come on the right foot, left hand up to the third eye. Lift the elbows. We decompress, pushing the chi down, cleansing, clearing. Left head to one tiao. Right baby toe out, right hand, shoulder height, single wing. Look all the way behind you. Look forward, palm up, right head with the kidneys. We're going to lift the left foot and left elbow. Left toe touches, left baby finger touches the waist. You're going to wrap the chi with the right hand from the kidneys to the side, navel. We're feeling the chi in the right hand giving to the left hand to the left shoulder. Give chi to the 
ear, behind the back of the head to the right ear. As we push the chi down with the left hand, right hand, left hand comes up as high as you trip and chi hu, turn the right palm forward as you rock forward, giving chi left, lao gan give chi to one tail, pegu give chi to one tail, lao gan, and then we come up to the third eye. And as you look at the full moon, left hand to the ear, we're going to scoop the chi down to the left inner ankle. Left hand at the third eye, turn the head to the left, right hand at the third eye. Pivot on the left foot, we turn our body to the right. And as you come up, you're gonna lift the left elbow, left toe forward, left hand at the waist, left hand at the third eye, right hand at the temple, reach up to the full moon. We gather the chi down to the left inner ankle. And then we're gonna catch under the left armpit. And then we come to the left knee and we push the chi down the outside and inside of the leg. And then Hegu comes up three times, pushing down the, the left leg, the seams of the pants and Hegu up. Push down, Hegu up and both hands go to the right knee. We turn 90 degrees to the right. We push down the right leg, thumbs down. Hegu up, push down. Hegu up. On the last time as you push down, we start to swim forward. Up, out, behind you. The left leg's forward, the hands are behind you. And we're looking at the pond that we get to fly at. I counted 144 geese there the other day. Keeping the weight down the right foot, we come forward. Left foot takes a step out to the side and we're going to give chi to the lower dantian as we fly over water. And then go to the left side, right hand at chi chin under the armpit. Then give chi to the lower dantian and go to the right side. And bring the chi to the lower dantian and go to the left side. Give chi to lower down to you, and then we're going to add our new movement, drinking water. Left foot forward, arms are forward. We're going to bring the hands to the mouth like a beak. And then to dab bow, to one tiao, both knees, left leg, and fly up. That's one. We do this three times. Two, come to the mouth. Give chi to dab bow, to one tiao, to both knees, left leg, and fly up. One more time. Bow, bow. One, two, both knees, left leg. Fly up to the sky, look at the sky. Flutter, flutter, flutter till you come to the belly. I'll tell you the place next week, but press and massage. Restoring chi to your gut three times. And then we will close for the new movements of today. From the upper dantian. Middle Dantian, Lower Dantian. Oh. So most of us did that seated, but now we're going to do from the turnaround, um, the full moon, we're gonna do all the movements standing and then we'll go for the whole form. Bye Kat, nice to see you with us. So we're gonna do from the full moon, the first full moon, we come down to the left inner ankle, turn the head, come on the heel, turning. And we come upright, then we're gonna step on the right foot, lift the left elbow, left toe touches, left hand at the third eye, come to the right temple. We reach the full moon, weight on the right foot, bend that right knee as you scoop the chi to the left inner ankle, left hand at the third eye, and then we catch the reflection. Now we're over your left leg as we push down and up. So I'm not bending my back, I am squatting. I'm bending my knees three times. Then I bring the hands to the other knee, turn 90 degrees, left foot steps back with a flat back, I'm squatting, I'm not bending my back down. I'm just pressing the chi down. After the third time, I fly forward, up to the heaven, to the side, behind, and I'm looking at the pond. Joyce has been joining us at the duck pond. It's a lot of fun with all those geese. 
Come forward. Left foot takes a step back, and we get you the lower dantian as we fly over the water. And it's so beautiful to watch the geese fly over water in unison. Oh, it's so lovely. And give chi to lower dantian and fly to the left side. Come to lower dantian and then left foot comes forward to drink water. You're going to give chi to the mouth. Dab bow, one tia, both knees, left leg and fly up. Mouth, dab bow, one tia, both knees, left leg and fly up. Mouth. Now, one, two, both knees left leg, fly up, look at the sky, fly, fly, fly. And then bring the hands to the belly and we press and massage. Press, massage. Press, massage. Bring the hands down and gather the chi up for the end of the new movements for today. <sighs> Thank you for that part. And we're going to go from the beginning with some music all the way to the end of the set. Let's get some music on. Hmm. Can you hear a little music? So remember all that chi work we did today? I want you to feel it. Everything we do is moving chi.
Okay.